Hey guys, I'm back with a new video. If this look looks very similar, it's because I um, filmed a Get Ready With Me First Impressions before this. I don't know what's going to go up first, so either way, that's why, because I filmed this on the same day. So yeah, and I didn't want to change my shirt, because I get, I get really mad at that much. So today I'm going to be doing my favorite skincare products. Um, I have facial sprays, toners, face washes, masks, everything. So let's just get right into the video. Face wash, I have three different favorite face washes. I'm going to be talking about them all briefly. So the first one's the Alba Botanica Acne Dote Deep Pore Wash. It looks like this. Most of this stuff is um, really inexpensive too. Most of it's drugstore, so it's really affordable. This is a really good um, face wash if you have acne. It's not that great for like if you have cystic acne or just really, really bad breakouts. Um, it's good for like lighter breakouts. When I'm breaking out a little bit more, um, this doesn't do the most amazing job, but it certainly does help. Um, I really, really like this. If you just have um, subtle breakouts and stuff, this would really, really help. It has salicylic acid in it, which is really good. And yeah, it's just a really awesome face wash. I'm like almost done with it. It's just, and also it helps if you're feeling a breakout coming on, it will help um, that go away. Next, I have the Dirty Works Perfect Face Scrub. It looks like this. It has pomegranate in it and raspberry extract and menthol. This is a really intense um, face scrub. This is like the exfoliating face scrub that you use a couple times a week. Um, not every day because it is a little more intense but it's also it's really good if you just really want to clean out your pores and you need a good facial scrub especially because this one has menthol it's super super um refreshing this is probably my favorite face wash this is kind of newer to me but i love it this is the yes to coconut ultra hydrating energizing coffee two-in-one scrub and cleanser stick when I first got this, I thought it was kind of gimmicky because it's like this twist up stick and I don't know, um, it's really dirty, don't mind that. <laughs> but this is amazing. This has really, really helped my skin clear up too. It doesn't even claim to be for acne, but it really has helped. It's extremely hydrating. I really like this Yes2 brand. It's really, really good. But it is super hydrating because obviously this is hydrating for dry skin. It smells Oh my god, it smells so good. It smells like coconut and vanilla and coffee. It just smells so good. It's a very light exfoliator, so you could use this like every day. I just really, really love this face wash. I definitely recommend this, especially if you have dry skin and you need some hydrating. And it's just, like I said, a really good um, everyday kind of exfoliator. I have two toners I want to talk about. This first one is technically not a toner. It's the Alba Botanica Acne Dough Deep Clean Astringent. Looks like this. It looks exactly like the face wash. This is really, really good if you have acne. Even if you have like cystic acne, this really, really helps. Um, again, it's super inexpensive, and all these products I'm talking about are cruelty free, and I'm pretty sure all of them are vegan too. So yeah, I really, really love this. This I use if I know I have a breakout coming on, or even if I have a ton of breakouts currently. This definitely, definitely helps with that. Next, I have the Mario Badescu Glycolic Acid Toner. This is for combination to dry skin. This is a really, really good toner. I think acid toners are super good. I'll tell you what the claims are. It's supposed to refresh, exfoliate, and help soften the look of fine lines and wrinkles with our alcohol-free glycolic acid toner. Glycolic acid and grapefruit work together to help dull, tired skin look fresh and rejuvi rejuvenated. Formulated with aloe vera to help soothe your skin. Um, which I really agree with it really does help your skin just look more lifelike and um not as like dry and dull so i really really love this toner and mario badescu isn't too too expensive i mean the serums i've been really into serums lately um they're really really helpful to the skin this first one is just a mini but i've been really loving this this is the codaly vino perfect or vino perfect serum it's supposed to be a radiant serum it looks like this and it just has the little dropper like most serums do. This smells like soap. It doesn't smell like anything too crazy. But this really has helped my skin be more radiant and like really just nice looking. I just really like that serum. 
And then this is the, I can't, I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's Ganique Paris Vitamin C Serum. It looks like that. I recommend everyone put some vitamin C into your life, um, in your skincare routine. It really, really helps. It really helps make your skin look more radiant, not as dull. It's, vitamin C is just really good for the skin too. I really, really love the serum. It's definitely my favorite out of the two. But I did want to mention the other one because I really like it. But yeah, this serum is just really awesome. I Like I said, I really recommend um, vitamin C into your skincare routine. For eye cream, I have this one by e.l.f. This is the Illuminating Eye Cream. I don't really think this does like a lot. It doesn't really illuminate your under eyes. I just use it for hydrating my under eyes because I have really dry under eyes. Um, so I don't really need like a super, super fancy one because this one works just well for hydrating. I don't think this does a lot as for illuminating and maybe like making like darkness go away or lines or anything, but it does hydrate, which is what I use it for and I really like it. About masks, I have a few masks here. My favorite is the Yes2 brand. I have just a couple of these. I really like the hydrating ones. I have a sheet mask and a powdered clay mask. These hydrating ones are really, really good for the skin if you have dry skin and you need to hydrate. And then I really like the Yes2 Tomatoes ones because these are really good for acne. This one is the Powder to Clay mask as well. I just really, really love those. I have a ton of different masks, but those are definitely some of my favorites. And I also really like Lush masks. This one's the Cup of Coffee. It's really good. <laughs> it looks like this. And it has, it smells so good. It smells just like coffee. And it has like coffee um, grounds in there, so it really helps exfoliate the skin. Like as you wash it off, you can exfoliate with it, which is really awesome. Lush masks are really good. I also like the Mask of Magmanty, Magmanty, it's something like that, but I really, really love that mask too. Okay, I have a couple of facial sprays, and then I have one more category, and then we'll be done. My all-time favorite, like, probably product on this earth, I love it that much, is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. They've recently come out with a few new ones, but this one's, I just love. It's so, so, so good, especially if you have dry skin. Um, this is really good, like, doing, like, spraying throughout your makeup so you don't look too, like, dry or cakey. It's really good to refresh throughout the day. It's good to moisturize your face. It's just good for everything. I recommend this facial spray to anyone and everyone. And then I have a couple by Pearl Essence. I have the rose water, coconut water, and then I have the cucumber water, but it's actually at school right now. Um, these are just super hydrating, super good. You can use them before your makeup, after your makeup, in your skincare routine, during your makeup. They're just awesome hydrating facial sprays. I don't really have much more to say about them. I just really, really like those. Lastly, to remove makeup, I have an all time favorite. I've tried so many makeup removers, makeup wipes, oils, just regular eye makeup removers. I've tried so much, but this is definitely the best thing I have ever, ever tried. This is the NYX Cleansing Balm Strip Off, and it looks like this. This is so good. It removes your makeup like that. It removes everything. I haven't tried it with a waterproof mascara, but I know it would give it off because this is the only thing I've found that has gotten off eyelash glue. Like, amazing it's so good it looks like this you can see all my nail marks in it but it's so good and i've had this for quite a few months now and it's lasted a really long time it's just so 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 good um and again it's really inexpensive i just love this and what i'd love to pair it with is these um i have a ton of these i don't know exactly what they're called you can get them anywhere this one is the Always Off Makeup Cloth, and these are pretty much all polyester, but they're just these makeup cleansing wipes. This one's kind of dirty because it's just like stained because I've had this one for kind of a while, but these are so good to remove your makeup. These give off a ton of your makeup by like on their own. You can just use this to remove your makeup if you're lazy um, or you're tired or something. These are really good, but these two together, your makeup is completely off, like you won't have any remaining makeup. It really gets in your pores and really helps. And then these my mom just recently got me and I love them actually. I don't know the brand. These are the same thing but there's these little mitts you put on your fingers and you just wipe off your eyes with them. These ones are a little softer which I like. Um, but again they're the same, same thing but these are just for your eyes and then you can use the other one for your face. And they come in this little pouch so like when you wash them they don't get lost. I think that's so cute. 
but yeah they're really really amazing for taking off your makeup so that was all guys i hope you enjoyed i hope you got some good skincare tips um again i i don't know if i said this already but i have dry skin super dry skin and super acne prone skin i have like cystic acne and all that so i hope if you have similar skin to mine a lot of these recommendations helped you and yeah see you guys later